Hello there, Jailbreakers. This is Dan. I'm from iPadJailbreak.com. I'm also the new uh, lead guy for the JailbreakZone.com. And I'll be uploading some videos in the future for Jailbreak Zone uh, YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm going to go through on the iPad, I'm going to run through the KB shortcuts. Um, it's a new tweak from iSAM. And it runs uh, $2.50 and it requires iOS 3.2 or higher. And it's not compatible with iOS uh, 5 yet. And uh, it's basically about 30 or so different shortcuts you can have um, for text editing, copy paste, and those sorts of things. So I'll go ahead and run into the settings here. Uh, for KB short, shortcuts, uh, you have the ability to turn that on and off. Um, there is no icon for this for this uh, tweak. It's just uh, going to show up in your settings. Um, the translation for the you can set their language you want to translate. I have it set for English. Uh, child lock, you can. Uh, if you have that on, it'll make a, a little bit. You have to be a little bit more deliberate in uh, in running the shortcuts. Um, you also have some quick text here. You can enter in for the different um, like customized text pasting, basically, um, or inserting. Uh, it's a nice little shorthand for that. I'll go ahead and jump into uh, a notepad here. Uh, start off um, from the top, I guess. Uh, insert email. Um, Actually, I'll go back. I'll go into the uh, if you go, if you if you swipe from the plus from the space bar to the question mark, it'll pull up the help menu, and the help menu uh, basically tells you all the different shortcuts and and you, you basically you start on the swipe, so you start swiping from the space bar and you go up to to the character that you have listed here and it'll apply that uh, shortcut, copy, define word, search, uh, insert your email. I'll go ahead and start off with that one. Uh, you have to go. Um, to your number pad, swipe from the space bar to the ampersand or uh, to the at symbol, and then you'll get you'll get your email dropped in. And that was on the settings page. You can set that uh, for whatever you forever email you want to have drop in there. Um, well, anyway, and I'll go ahead and jump and uh, go to the next one. Uh, select all. I'll just run down the list all the way through here, A through Z. Um, select all. You go from the space bar to A, and it'll select all the text. You can, you can quickly delete all your text that way. I'll get uh, could get to it a little bit later, but space bar to Z will do undo, so I can get all, all my text back that way. I can set a bookmark. Uh, that's space bar B, so I put a bookmark af after the word two there. Um, so that I just applied my my uh, bookmark, and I can go to to my G or go to space bar G. It takes you to go to. I can go to that bookmark that I just set, or I can pick a certain line to go to. Uh, if I hit go to my bookmark, it brings the cursor back up to, to where I have my bookmark set. Uh, the next one is uh, uh, spacebar C. So if I I pick the word translate there, I go from the spacebar to C, copy that text, and if I want to insert it here, go spacebar V. It'll paste that word. You can put you can paste it multiple times. Um, next is define word. Uh, let's say that you don't know what the word jailbreak means. So you go from spacebar to D. It's going to look up the word jailbreak. It's going to select it. Uh, it says it's an escape from jail. Or uh, a way to get full access to your iOS device. Uh, next I'm going to go to the end of document. Uh, spacebar E. Brings your cursor down to the end. If it's a multi-page document, it's kind of handy for jumping around. Um, Next is spacebar F, which is a find. So I can search for the word I Sam. In this in this text, and it found it right there. It'd be be handy for uh, for finding a certain word in a that you need to edit or change. Um, now the spacebar G, I kind of already showed you there. Um, you can go to your bookmark, or you can pick a line number. Let's say I want to go to line thirteen. Push go to thir line 13, and it's going to bring the cursor down to the 13th line. Uh, beginning a document is spacebar H, so it'll bring my cursor up to the top, much like the spacebar E that took it to the end, and the spacebar H took it to the top. So if I want to go a line above, just straight up like an arrow key would on a, on a keyboard, uh, that would be the, the next one we're going to do, the spacebar I, and it just brings it up one row, one straight up line. Um, previous character, a uh, spacebar J, is kind of the, the left arrow key. 
Uh, if you need to go down a line, spacebar K. And disconnect the down arrow key. Uh, the next character, spacebar L. So the sp uh, spacebar basically, the I, J, K, L kind of is up, down, left, right keys uh, to navigate around the document. Uh, to get to the next word, you jump around word at a time, spacebar M. Bring your cursor to the next word. If you want to go back a word, spacebar in. Uh, toggle or uh, yeah, end end of line. So if I go spacebar P, it takes you to the right, and pay spacebar Q on the left side of the keyboard it takes you to the, to the left side. Uh, if you want to jump, if you want to replace, so if I want to replace the word the. Say I want to replace the word the with the word jailbreak. So I can do just do replace all. And then zero instances were replaced with the word the. So maybe I didn't need to not have that capitalized. Let me try that again. Uh, space bar R. So it replaced the 17 instances where the word the was, uh, it, it has to be case sensitive uh, to replace it. So there, every time the word does, and now we have the word jailbreak. Uh, select current or previous word. So I just, just want to select it without spacebar S. That did not copy it, that just selected it. So now if I wanted to delete it, I could just press the backspace key. Again, I can do spacebar Z and undo what I just did. Uh, next one, toggle the case. Uh, spacebar U will toggle the case of that that word. So it brought it all down to lowercase. Spacebar U brings it uppercase. Lowercase, and you, you can pick or adjust. Uppercase, lowercase. Uh, to translate a word, or uh, I guess I don't have any words that aren't in another another language, but I get spacebar T would, would give you a translation of that, and uh, then the language you have set in, in your settings. Uh, next is uh, to toggle the case. Oh, I think I already did that one. Uh, the next one would be spacebar uh, V would be the paste function. Uh, so if I select this word with spacebar C, and if I want to put that word over here, as I showed you before, spacebar V, we'll insert that. And I can undo that. Uh, word count, spacebar W, pulls up uh, how many characters you have, how many words, sentences, paragraphs, lines, and new lines. Uh, it's the cut function, so if I put my cursor in front of the word quickly, spacebar X to cut that word out, but it's in, it is in the uh, clipboard. So I should be able to paste it right back in there to quick, quickly show it back up. So I can undo that. Uh, redo. So let's say that I want to, I just undid that. So let's, let's go with spacebar Y and put it back. Spacebar Z undid that. And uh, quick text. You scroll down here a little ways. I have some quick text set. Uh, spacebar zero. Uh, I have as my jailbreak zone email. Uh, spacebar one. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to our videos on Jailbreak Zone. Um, you can you can set any short text that you're going to type constantly. And there's our Twitter for Jailbreak Zone. And on um, three is a twi is a Twitter for iPad uh, I iPad Jailbroken, which is our the the, the Twitter for iPad Jailbreak.com. Uh, hopefully this was a good tutorial on the, the different Twix texts you can set up for the KB short sets. And, then, and as you can see in here, this is where I had the quick text typed in. Um, my email was for the, for the at symbol from the spacebar. And then the quick text from the different uh, jailbreak zone for, for 0, 1, 2, 3. Um, you can set those for commonly used signatures or something that you're going to type constantly. Um, Hopefully this was this tutorial was helpful. Um, just remember to go ahead and subscribe to our, our YouTube videos. Hopefully we'll continue to bring you know good quality 
uh, information and a good review for the iPad tweaks that are available. Uh, thank you and have a good day.